Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we defeated uh, Porco Loco and rescued Hamelin, and then we find out that uh, we found out that P, or Queen Cassiopeia, was the creator of the mana. When she tried to help out her kingdom, she ended up killing everybody. The conspiring counselors, the guards, everybody. So, yeah, she apparently is waiting for us in the Kingdom of Nazca, so we have to go find that. But first, there's a few things for us to do. Uh, first of all, first of all, uh, Sasuke reached the end of his, uh, uh, the end of his, uh, levels, so we're going to metamorphose him. That is not the moon, Dovi. And so he goes from an idler into a wild idler. Um... Yeah, he's going to be learning Rolling Stone, Thunderspark, and Thunderstorm there. Uh, as you can see, uh, some attack. The magic attack is going to kind of stink still. Accuracy. Everything's going to go down, but um, it's going to it's going to be a lot a lot better leveling in general. So let's uh, dum bum 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 the wild eyed look, looks kind of dumb, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do you like? You like a uh, accuracy. You like evasion, don't you? No, he likes attack. Okay. I'm not going to start feeding everybody here, don't worry. Um, not even honky. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. <laughs> honest, honest, I'm not going to do it. Um, so, yes, can I actually give you, I have another shield of the pure, do you want that? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna give you that. Also, you, Imperial Scepter. Okay, no. I think we're gonna be able to give him a new, uh, wand later. And, yeah, we also got new formula. Which is pretty much just the Highwayman's handgun. Uh, so we have the Gyro Grappler from beating uh, Porco Loco, but the drill screws we're gonna have to find, and the blowpipe is uh, gonna take a, a little while to get uh, to, to get to. Also, we can make this. I don't know why I haven't yet, but that's going to be for one of those episodes where I decide to grind for items beforehand. Although I can make this now. Yeah, why not? That looks kind of cool. It's actually 12 defense is pretty nice. I want to see if... Bring wins badge. Eh. Who else uses badges? Barrier badge. Nope. Damage back onto attackers. No, because your defense is pretty nice already. May as well give you something. Nope, okay, sorry. Um, so let us head to... <laughs> Oliver, let's ride the dragon. Okay, okay, okay. I had resolved to run them through in your friend. Oh, God. <laughs> he was gonna kill his entire crew. <laughs> That's great. How about you, Kulan? Uh, fine. Let's just, let's just talk to P and get out of here. It's not foggy there anymore. Okay. So, uh, the big birdie picture. You mean like the big picture of a birdie? Yes, yeah, silly, a big birdie, like Doodle Doo. Get Tain to bust down the big birdie. Doodle Doo, that's, gals, that's the gallus blow, get in debt. Yeah, so how does she know about him? No, we can worry about that later. We need to start looking for Nascali boy, and that means looking for a picture of birdies. Okay, let's take a ride in Tengri so you can find the place P's talking about. Yes. So the uh, island of Nazca, which is in the uh, the east, uh, uh, not the east, the um, Springlands. Also, I really like that's there, and yeah, the lower left there. Uh, so before it was all, you know, annoying and you couldn't land there. Now that is it is now that we have the three flowers, it is gone. But first, first I believe we have a quest to do in Alma Moon. So just something to uh, to consider when you're going around with, you know, trying to figure out, do I want Marcus in my party? Do I want uh, Swain in the party? 
Uh, Swain, you're going to want to keep in your party um, if you're fighting a boss or whatever, you know, just to be able to steal from it. Uh, Esther, I would say in general, try to keep her in your party, mostly because she uh, can tame monsters, and if she's not in your party, then you won't be able to do that. And if you're saying, well, I don't really need to tame monsters, yeah, okay, I can understand that, but, you know, it's, uh, the, some, you know, trophies require that you do, so, me, I'm gonna have to be keeping her in my party for a while, but anyway, there's a quest by the, um, uh, the spicy curry man, whatever his name is, uh, Taj, Taj Mahal curry, this guy, Goku. I don't know why I called him Goku. I did something from the beginning of the Let's Play I don't remember anymore. So much to do, I'm sorry. You look busy. I am indeed. My Tika Mahala is both so popular, I have almost uh, more orders I can meet. And since I began offering a delivery service, they've been pouring from across the land. I can't say I'm surprised, man. The curry's almost scary, tasty, proper, amazing it is. But how do you keep it warm if you're delivering it far away? There's no need to keep it warm, man. I bet it's as good gold as it's piping hot. Uh, thank you. Your faith in my ability inspires me to work harder. I do not regret my curry's popularity, but it means I am no longer having the time to carry out deliveries myself. Perhaps if you have time, you might consider helping me. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be delivering curry. It's like a fetch quest, but we just give things out. Uh, first things first, we're going to go to the Sheikah Spice at the beginning of town. So, I'll just meet you there. Alright, so this guy, if you don't remember. Special delivery, one Tikka Mahala for Mr. Sheik. Ah, uh, not a moment too soon, I had almost given up hope. Yes, yes. It's very good, you eat it every day, it's the finest of all foods. Why don't you just walk over there? Why do you have to do the delivery service? Uh, thanks for choosing Raj Mahal. And yeah, you don't even get individual rewards from these guys. Which means we're going to be going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. <sighs> I'm going to be cutting around a lot in this episode. <sighs> okay. We delivered your stupid curry. Who's next? Uh huh. Okay. Who's next? The most illustrious person in Zal's Castaway Cove. Okay, we got another bowl of Tikka Mahala. So, this is going to be the governor, so I'll meet you by him. Okay, he's all the way on the last dock over here. Here you go, sir. One Tikka Mahala. Oh, praise be to the ages that has arrived. Uh, yes, 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 truly a blessing, blah, 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 curries in person, and now we head all the way back. Okay, now we're back here again. Who's next? Someone this time, someone in Hamelin. Who is it? The one who runs the shop at the prize himself selling every item under the sun. Yay. If you guess the owner of the uh, black market, then you're correct. Special delivery. <laughs> Special delivery. Yes, yes, yes. Curry, and now back to stupid place. Yeah, I'm back. What do you want now? Oh, <sighs> Emma's very far. Without your help, I cannot complete the order. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is it this time? One who is all bones. Well, time to head to the Tombstone Trail. Yep, this time we're headed to the Crypt Casino, and the person we want to talk to is this guy? You? Yep, one Tika Mahala. At last, Maha! The legend Tika Mahala Kakarath. Everyone's talking about what an aroma. Everyone loves it. <laughs> the taste is absolutely to live for. <laughs> yeah. How do you exactly do you eat it? You, you just can't, you can't just say things like that. And heading back, but first, this guy's a big head. Look at that head. Look at that big head. Deliver your stupid soup. Now what? Yes, it did. Okay, this is the last one. One who dwells in a lost village hidden deep in a forest west of Ding Dong Dell. Uh-huh. Well, this one... I believe, uh... Let's travel ourselves to Ding Dong Dell. I guess I 
show you. It's the uh, uh, glade. It's in a forest glade. To the west of Ding Dong Dell. So let's get ourselves on Tengri. And... Let's see. It is... It's over here? I feel like it's the one that's like all the way, all the way over here. Or is it? Yes, it is. Okay, you. There you go, special. How did you even, boy with red hair, bring us curry, fiery food only here in Legends? Okay. Uh, yeah, be sure to order more. And now we head back to Alma Moon one last time to get our reward. <sighs> God. Yep, that is an annoying side quest. I am not, no, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that one. It is really, really annoying. But at least we get stampy stamps and rewards and... Closer to 100%ing the game. I don't think there's any game I've ever played that has, like, every single side quest is satisfying. I really can't say that I have. Maybe if you could think of one, let me know. You know, it'd be kind of cool to see. We did it. You did truly. I cannot thank you enough. Everyone who ate it told us that delicious it was. It was a lot. Uh, we have a lot of. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, everyone said it was awesome. This is music to my ears. You know that our efforts are not very satisfactory indeed. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. 20 bowls of Tikka Mahala. Yeah. And also, 3, 6, 8 Stampy Stamps. Yay. And we can also buy from him. So, yeah, but 20 is nice. 20 is nice. The next place we're going to be going is to Hamlin because there is a quest there for us now that we've cleared it out. Okay. Uh, the person here, I believe, is outside Swift Solutions. Yeah, down there. And after we talk to him, we'll go in Swift Solutions to see if we can get re redeem any rewards yet. Excuse me. So, yeah. This is also going to be an annoying quest that if you don't have the right stuff, it's, you're going to be, like, sent out all over the place. Uh, where'd he go? You, stop walking around. Oh, I've slept in again. That makes 456 days in a row. <sighs> don't you have an alarm clock, mister? I've got more alarm clocks than I know what to do with. The problem is not one of them seems to do the trick. Tried big ones, small ones, on the bells, whistles, hammers. I slipped through all of them. There's one kind I haven't tried yet, an alarm clock which I've heard very good things about. That's what I'm looking for now. What kind of alarm clock is that? It's called Sleep Be Gone. Uh huh, okay. Wakey wakey! Yeah, so we're gonna need Ricky to come in. You will? That's marvelous. Good luck. Oh god. Well, I'm pretty sure we have a Sleep Be Gone. That's it, the alarm clock I've heard so much about. Looks like it's got a powerful ring to. Look, oh, come on, the laser bag was not off with his eyes wide open. Uh, wake up, mister. Oh, oh, do excuse me. Sleepy gone, my foot up and rear. What a waste of time. I'm really not sure it's going to do a trick. Can I ask you one more favor? What is it? Would you be kind enough to make me a cappuccino? That would be. <sighs> well, luckily, we have coffee too. No, uh, thanks. Spam to put a spring in my step. Excuse me while I sample it. Well, we have never felt so wide awake. Nito, it looks like it worked. That's better. I've never felt so very, very sleepy. Flippin' heck, I've seen some lazy beggars in my time, but this bloke takes the best get. That's most strange. How can I still be sleepy? Huh? Sure wore off fast. I felt sleepy before. This sleep goes to feel completely drained. The fellow's in a bad way, man. Something else you could do to keep him awake? If I have a familiar who knew a trick like Rise and Shine. Maybe that could work. I'll bring you a credit like that as fast as we can. Please tell me someone we have already has that. 
Hey, mister, we brought the critter you wanted. Uh, let's see, who has Rise and Shine? Uh, that sounds like it would be... Rosso. Oh, yeah. Use Rise and Shine, okay. Well, we have never felt so bright and bushy tail. My sleepy has been banished. Thank you, you've done so much for me. Flippin', right? We have met some flippin' lazy beggars in my time, but you're a flippin' phenomenon. Now your fairy does say the most amusing things. Anyway, here's something for your troubles. Dragonlands and 3,000 guilders. And seven stampy stamps. We definitely have enough to get something nice. Uh, okay. Now I have to see who has Rise and Shine. Nope, it was not you. Alright, we should probably put some of these back, shouldn't we? Uh... Did I want it? Eh, whatever. Snowblower, you're fine. You. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. That's my ball. Oh, you had Rise and Shine, okay. And it can give you sea stars. Alright, that's cool. And we'll give you... Okay, whatever. Uh, so... Do you want to have the dragon lance? Well, that's nice. Oh, you already have one. I was gonna be like, well, yeah. Whatever. Um, okay, cool. So, let us go into Swift Solutions and see what we can redeem. Let's see, where are we at for time? Uh, probably gonna end off around here. Because moving onward is going to be story, you know? Uh, claim merit reward. Six. Okay, we can get anything now. Uh, I totally forgot which one I said I wanted to get. Um, recovery of health through walking. That's kind of nice. Increase the amount of experience to take part in battle. Reduce the amount of magical power. Lazy Tarfai. Uh, this we're going to need the most. Yeah. Uh, that's probably nice to have too, but yeah. Anyway, so that's that. And I'm pretty sure we're all caught up in quests. Yes, we are. Which means that that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to head out to... Yeah, I'll just fly from Old Smokey. We're going to head out to Nazca. Um... Before then, I'm just gonna go collect a few, like, meteorite, the meteorite fragment and, and other stuff just from surrounding areas. While well, we can. But anyway, this has been Several Total 4 with Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.